G'day folks! Today in this video we're going to talk about DJI's latest firmware update for the Mavic 2 Pro. Now one of the main features of this new firmware update is the ability to use two remotes have a dual remote setup for your Mavic 2. The firmware update also fixed a few minor problems to do with GPS and photos and also the way the gimbal behaves in certain situations. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about this uh, but my video is a little bit different because we're talking about how to utilize this with the Crystal Sky, the smart controller, because as of right now the update is not available for Android. So let's jump in and we will take a look. So this new firmware update was released a few days ago, at the time of this filming anyways, but as of right now it's only available for iOS. So if you want to set up dual uh, remotes for your Mavic 2, you have to use an iOS device. However, you can kind of bypass that. Like myself, I'm using a Crystal Sky here and a Smart Controller, and I'll kind of show you what I mean here in a minute. So the Crystal Sky and the Smart Controller run on Android, so that update is not available for these devices yet. It is available for iOS, which I have set up here. Now, there might be people asking why you would want to use two controllers for one drone, and uh, there's a couple different reasons why. The main reason that a lot of people will like this update is the fact that you could have one person flying the drone and a secondary person controlling the camera. With the Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom, you have the ability to both pan and tilt the camera while flying. So in that case, you could have one person focusing on the flying, and you could have the second pilot focusing on getting some nice, smooth, dynamic shots. Now, another reason some people will find this update very handy, uh, including myself, is that many of you, like myself, have gone out and purchased the Smart Controller. And if you're like myself, you went and purchased the Mavic 2 last summer before the Smart Controller was available, so now you're left with a secondary controller that you really can't use. Up until now, you could only bind one remote to the aircraft at a time. And what I really like about this is that sometimes I like to fly with my Crystal Sky. I'm really enjoying the Smart Controller and it's what I fly with uh, probably 80% of the time. If anybody is on the fence about the Smart Controller, I recommend it to anybody. It is quite pricey, but it is just a beautiful engineered product and uh, just the simplicity of it getting up and flying quickly. It also has that uh, thousand nit screen, which is uh, really nice to look at on bright days. But there are those times I still like to fly with my 7.8 inch Crystal Sky. And the reason being it is a 2000 nit screen and plus it's 7.8 inches so it does give you some more real estate. The problem is when you mount it in the old remote you have to rebind it back to the Mavic 2 Pro and then when you want to go back to the smart controller you got to rebind this one. It's just a constant back and forth and takes up a lot of time and can be a little frustrating. So anyways let's get into it here. Uh, like I said uh, it's not supported under Android yet and that's what the smart controller is. Because the way this dual remote system works is that one is going to be set to a primary and one is going to be set to a secondary. So you could already have say your crystal sky or your smart controller even though they're android devices you could already have them bound to the mavic 2 pro as the master controller when we go to buying the second controller we have to have an ios device in there initially but once we've bound it that first time we can then put in any kind of android device and it will still work and i'll demonstrate that here in a minute so i'm going to show you quickly here how to bind the second remote my smart controller is already bound to the mavic 2 zoom here so we're going to power on our drone here it could get a little noisy with the fan running, so just bear with me. And we're going to power on our secondary remote. And this isn't bound yet, so we're going to go and do that now. So you can see it's not bound, it's trying to connect to it, but it can't. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to enter device, and I'm going to enter the camera view. It's not going to show anything on the screen here because technically it's not connected yet. But what we're going to do is go to the three dots here at the top, and then we're going to go to remote, and we're going to scroll down and hit linking remote controller. And you can see there, it gives us a new option. It says secondary remote controller. So we can bind this as a primary or a secondary. And of course, we're gonna bind this one as the secondary. So we're gonna click on secondary, hit okay. And now it's gonna tell us to put the aircraft into binding mode. And to do so, we're just gonna press that button on the side there. And you can see there, it is now linked as a secondary controller. So now if you see when we go back, you can see the video feed on the screen. As a secondary remote, you can go in and do pretty well anything that the master can do when it comes to flying the drone. You can fly the drone, you can stop and start recording, you can change camera settings. The only thing you cannot do is if we go into the settings, you can see there it's very minimal of what you can do. So now let's power up our primary remote. You can see there I can click on go fly. 
And as you can see here, I'm getting a feed on both remotes. Now, if you've got a buddy using your secondary remote, he can go ahead and fly the drone. He could go forward, up, down, do pretty well anything that you can normally do. However, the master will always take priority. So if he's flying up, and I on my stick start going down, the drone's gonna go down. It's gonna do what the master remote tells it to do over what the secondary does. So I just removed my iPhone and I'm now gonna put the Crystal Sky in. So I now have the Crystal Sky installed in this uh, secondary remote and I'm gonna power the remote on now. And now we're gonna turn the Mavic 2 on. And because I've already bound this remote as a secondary, it should just go ahead and automatically connect even though I've now mounted a Crystal Sky in there. And there we go, see it says go fly. And I can turn on the smart remote. I can then tap on go fly. And there we go, we've got the dual feed again. So right now, as you can see, I'm running two remotes, both on Android, uh, the Crystal Sky and the smart remote and it works perfectly. So everything works fine on Android. However, you will need an iOS device to initially link your remote to the Mavic 2. That's basically it for my video. I am super happy with this latest update from DJI. Now I can fly with my Crystal Sky and my smart controller, and I don't have to constantly be rebinding remotes back and forth as I'm using them. Uh, it's really handy, and I'm super happy that they've updated it. Anyways, folks, give this video a thumbs up if you found it had value. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.